Hello, Mother Munchkins, Crones, and Sunflowers. How are you yes. on this evening? I hope everything with you is copacetic, and I hope you had a marvelous, marvelous weekend so far. Um, and if you're going out this evening, be safe. Please. Please be safe. And remember, no drinking and driving. Yes. If all possible. Um, what else I want to say? Oh, yes. And if you please look at this video, sum us up. Give us a comment. Or subscribe if you haven't. Yes, please. we appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Now, with that being said, let's get into it. Let's talk about this. What is this? What are we call? Yeah, this? what is going What's on, going with, on this? with this? What is going on with this? Hit it. Yes. Hit it. First off, Twitch boss, his um his, wife, his his not his wife, well, ex wife, not ex wife, the widow, widow, the widower, okay. the widow. She's a widow. Good. The widow. Uh, Twitch mm -hmm. has moved on yes, she has. and the thing is people wanting to know if it's too soon. He has been deceased a year and a half it's a good question. I know a year Definitely. Okay. Yeah. I know a year. Yeah, I don't right. know if it's a year and a half but nevertheless this is when she chooses to show him to the world so they were dating longer than that because they would have had to have been if she's willing to show him off. Wow he what? died December 13th, 2022. So this December will make two years. So is it too soon? Well, this is my opinion. No, the person's gone. Mm -hmm. They left. They're no longer part of this. This uh, It's a word I'm looking for. Dimension. Okay. They go into another dimension of sight and sound. Maybe it's different. Maybe he's being reincarnated to come back. I don't know. But he's gone. And what the living must do is keep living. Um, I always felt that there was more to his death. And I feel as though that it was more to their marriage mm -hmm. than they let on. But this is the things that happen when you don't share. That's true. And whatever was going on, he didn't trust her enough to share it with her. Okay. And so whatever that thing was, it died he took with it. Her. Amen, sister. And so for whatever reason, she moved on. Is it right? Is it wrong? She's a young woman. How old is she? 30 something, 40 something? Uh, let me see. If She's I can got find what, that two out. or three kids? It's hard. It's hard out here for a single woman with children. Uh, yes, yeah, she is 36. 36 years old. Mm -hmm. She's still in baby making age. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's good. And I think that he would want her to go on. Why? Because he went and he did it in a hotel. He took nothing. He left. He did it discreetly. So she don't have no films of staying in the house or whatever. So he knew exactly what he was doing. And maybe he felt like he couldn't keep up the pretense anymore. We don't know because he took it with them. But for her to move on, fine. But from what I seen, baby Pinter, please put a picture up there. Okay, Where's the okay. notebook? Okay, I'll write it on the notebook. Um, I have to tell you, because know, <laughs> I be saying, put a picture. She yeah, goes, you do see it, y'all. You got it, and you never see a picture put up there. That's because they come say, oh, I forgot. So I bought a notebook and a pen. And so she'll remember. So yeah. please, it, it's just that we, she's busy. I'm I busy. even wrote down Twitch balls. She's sitting right over here on this side. So you can get there. It That's the faithful book. Um, <laughs> right here, did you put the time? Yes, I did. Right the time. there. So she can put that there. And um, and it showed her walking with the shadow. So they didn't show them. Mm -hmm. So what kind of game is that? I honestly don't know what kind of I mean, you know me. Here. I want to know, is he white? Is he black? Is he Asian? Is he Hispanic? I'm nosy. <laughs> I want to know. I'm not, well, nosy. I don't know if I'm nosy. Yeah. But I would like curiosity to see. Is the best of you. Just curious. Out of curiosity. I would just like to know. I don't need to know. <laughs> but I would like to know, when, when somebody go out their race, and they've been out their race a long time, I'm thinking... It's normal to question who they dated. Mm -hmm. Especially if you know somebody and they always they say you white, okay, or Hispanic. Mm -hmm. And they and say you black say say you you're you're black and you're mm -hmm. white. And this white person is your friend, but
but they always going out with black men. Okay? Or they've been married to a black guy for years. Mm -hmm. it, wouldn't it be normal for you to ask your male or your female yes. if they Hispanic mm -hmm. and they only date black? When they come, wouldn't you be like, is they white or black? Is that racist? No, it's not. Because is that is that what you ask? Yeah, especially if she's being all mysterious, like you're trying to like not tell us who it is. Well, you know? no, because when I race, they out my race. The first thing my family would say, is it white or black? I'd be like, what does it matter? Is it white or black? What is it? That's the first thing I get. I used to. It's just used to pass judgment, really. Huh? I said it's just used to pass judgment. I don't know if it's judging or just, I don't know what that is, but I'm just bringing it because that happened to me. You know, whenever I dated someone or I was going to date or marry, they would say white or black, and I was because like, I'm like you know mm -hmm. yeah. no I you, you know, can go anywhere I go anywhere <laughs> though you know I I'm not one of them people that will pigeonhole myself from love, but right now I'm looking for love to find me. Okay, I like the, the of that. The word is the man that find I don't want to say white. The man that find a good woman find a good thing. I changed that because a good woman don't necessarily have to be your wife. Not all people want to get married. Mm -hmm, and especially true. if you're not going to procreate and make children. I think about that. And plus, I'm a woman of age, so I don't know if marriage would be right for me. I don't know. But I would like for you to get married one day. <laughs> yes, I do. And have me a grandbaby. Yes. But not right now. When you ready? 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 Hey, 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 hey! It's okay, just not it. ready anytime soon. Thank God. <laughs> yes. But anyway, enough of that. But anyway, back to Twitch. So I hope that she finds somebody that's going to be good to her and her and her children. Well, she yes. has three children. Um, uh, let me see. I hope she finds someone that is going to be good to her and her children, and she deserves to be happy. We all do. Even you. She has three kids. Mm -hmm. 15, 3, and 7. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, and no one knows. And they were thinking about having another child. And at the time, that was a baby they had just had, right? So that baby was yeah, just a baby, right? Mm -hmm. And they was already talking about having another. I mean, I shouldn't say it, but I'm saying it. Could that be a reason? Like, I'm out of here. I want to be a I'm not saying that it is okay. That was bad, bad, bad. Forgive me. I just that, the devil made me do it. <laughs> devil, get away, get out. Okay. So anyway, that's enough of Twitch. I just wanted to say that's what's going on. That's the word out there. Mm -hmm. You know. What yeah, it's a good segue right into the brat and the um. Judy. Oh. Speaking about just shortly after they had their baby, not even a year it's been a year. yeah it's been a year but they didn't even make it two years after the baby now they're already getting a divorce they children's will break you i or see me. i mean it's a beautiful thing but children it will make you make you or break you now from what i understand about this like everything i say mm -hmm. is allegedly make these clips we've seen now I heard Judy pay for everything. Like she bought the houses, she bought the cars. Judy is the one with the money. And what I heard, now I don't know. Mm -hmm. so what heard. I heard was Brad do Dish Nation and they don't know how else she's doing it. I don't know. But what I do know is I did a reading on them several months ago. I think seven or nine months ago. And I said, that they were in a crisis. Mm -hmm, you sure did. And that I didn't want to end the marriage. I didn't want to end it, but I, I didn't want to end it, but I wanted to show you that at the time they were having problems and the problems really extended to me at that time with the parenting of the baby, mm -hmm. their little boy. And now to hear that they are on the outs, they about to break up. Yes. Oh, please, I didn't wear my pearls. Oh, <laughs> say it isn't so. Because I had noticed 
that Brad hasn't been her bubbly self. That is true, definitely. She just decision. seemed not 100. I mean, it seems like now she's always bickering with that guy. Uh, yeah. What's his name? Uh, I really as wish good I could remember his name. His name. <clears throat> Danny? No, no, his name ain't no Danny. I can't think of his name. I really can't. But um Gary? Gary. Okay. I was thinking of the, I was thinking of the wrong cast member. Gary. And the way she bickers and she's short. Yeah. I'm not used to seeing her like that. And I watch that this nation. Not every day, but it don't go past me. But what you we did notice uh -huh. is that she does seem to at least light up a little bit when Tamar's on. When Tamar is on it, she lights up a little bit more. But it just seemed like they got this pick on Gary. I don't like they that. they really do. The the gag is Gary's old. That's really the and, oh that's the good oh well if that's the case, that's fine. But it just seems when the brat does it, it's like she seemed more hostile. Okay. Like she'll just ignore him and You're right, she I will. don't I don't mm -hmm. know. It like she doesn't want to engage in it. Like I don't want to engage. And and just things the way she sit there sometimes. Yeah. Everybody laughing, mm -hmm. laughing, and, and she she's not. sitting. I, I just knew it was something. So, you know, it must be at a fever pitch if it made news. Yeah. I feel sad about that. I honestly do too. I, I really do. But I know okay, if they get a divorce, because the brat had the baby. Mm-hmm. And the baby has the brat genes. Right, that's what we've heard. Where would Judy fit in this? Um, that's where that's the problem because really, who would get the baby? It's the brat. Would baby. Judy get the baby because Judy can afford the baby? Technically, it's the brat's baby, right. and the baby goes with the mama. Mm -hmm. That is the mama. And it seems like your baby, the baby got two mamas, mm -hmm. but which mama is suitable? Because I, it seems to me, do they have a show on? What, Jack, Brat and Judy? Yeah, Brat and Judy. Um, let me see. Please put a picture up of Brat and Judy. We've been talking about Brat and Judy with no picture. Um, I did. Okay, I'll put up a picture of Brat and Judy. Thank too. you. So, um, go ahead. What were you saying? That book come in handy, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. You need to just leave it open and sit in it right there for you. Just leave it open. That's what I would do if I were you. Just leave it right there. Put my phone right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. um, all right, let's see the Brown I'm curious. Judy show. Do they have a show? Because when I saw them, Judy was all over the place. She would do things to try to make the brat jealous. And I don't know. If anything, I don't know. The brat may be a little grumpy. She seemed like she could be a fiery sign. Yes, I'm trying to figure out what was the last episode. And um, they do have a show. Yes, I think the last I used episode to watch was them. last last year in 2023 so i think really? they, yeah so i think they might be supposed to be coming back i hope so sure. i used to watch them and um i enjoyed them but they just seemed like a disconnect for me and it just seemed like when it came down to the baby it was to me from the episodes that i saw yeah, here it, we go. it seemed like judy was giving her time to take the baby but judy was like mm -hmm. And. Yep, it says Brat loves Judy, the baby special. That was in November of 2023. Okay, so it's only a year. See, children, children can uh, mess up, uh, uh, not mess it up, but if you don't have a solid foundation, it, it, it will cause it to crumble. It really would, honestly, believe that is so true. Um, I mean, that's why it's not good to have. A baby with someone you don't know. However, they were married. They mm -hmm. did it all the right way. I often wonder, this is my opinion, Judy seemed to me like she didn't love Brad like that. I could see that. I, I didn't feel the love, but what I did, maybe it was at one point, but on the show, I didn't see that. I, I didn't see it. It was to me, she always treated the Brad like, oh, you. Yeah. You know, I don't know. It was a disconnect. I think it was a disconnect because I think, like you said, 
Um, you can kind of see that Judy likes to be in the camera. She likes to be saying And then the brat is kind of like the opposite. So it's like kind of like that clash. Like so the brat she, should... Sorry, um, baby. Come, go ahead. No, I was just going to say that maybe that um, the brat just feels a type of way of like, man, why do you always got to be in the camera showing off our baby, doing this, doing that, you know? Or being flirty or this and that. The, I think... Maybe it didn't start off that way, but it did. It was subconscious. I think Judy used Brad for a come up. That's what I think. Because we all know Judy. Mm -hmm. But the only reason why I know Judy is it's from the, the Brad. Mm -hmm. But Judy now can branch off and have her own show. She can. We know her now. Judy goes along. I watch you. True. You know? And I wonder... Is Judy bisexual? Because she comes off like very, very I can see that. feminine. Mm -hmm. Like I, I don't know. She oh that's right, she had children. I wonder if she bisexual. But it just seems to me that there was a disconnect mm -hmm. between her and them. Uh, and I don't know. I just have to watch. Well, I did watch it, but they haven't been on this year. No, they haven't been on this year. That's because they have problems. That's so sad. And the, even to the point that I think that the brat mother moved in with them to help with the baby. I think so, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't know about them, but I just feel in my soul, I really feel as though Judy used brat for a come up, whether she was cognitive of it or not. And it seems that she did things to make brat jealous. She did. And um, I don't know. And, and, and Brett, to me, comes off like a grumpy old man. And that could be hard to live with. Or somebody that's just grumpy. She just come off grumpy. Even on Dish Nation, watch it. She do. She comes off very grumpy. How old is she? Is she 50? She's grumpy. She's set in her ways. Definitely. You can see She's that. She's set in sure. her ways. I hope that I don't... You guessed exactly. How old is she? 50. She's 50. She's grumpy. Turned 50 in April. She a grumpy woman. She grumpy. I'm not saying she mean. She grumpy. And that's the one thing, and I could see it at home. Judy is more free spirit out there, living, and Brad is like, I'm eating this. I'm going upstairs. I'm going to bed. No, Judy. I guess Brad said, look, I'm on the Dish Nation. I'm on TV. I don't need it. Judy's 42. Lies. No lies. Yes, Judy is 42. Eight years younger than the brat. That explains it. But I swear Judy look older than the brat. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. Yeah, I thought they and maybe been it's the way the brat may wear hair. Okay, yeah, her hair does keep her looking young. Right. Judy is 42. Two. Mm -hmm. Her birthday in February. Now, you know what? <laughs> Judy, you're attractive. I'm going to give you that. Your face is attractive. Your body is like... <laughs> See, you with your eyeballs. It's just really too much. Mm -hmm. um, but she's an attractive woman. And her facial features. Very attractive. But I swear, I thought Judy was like 52, 53 years old. Honestly. Yeah, that is true. I, I thought was that shocked. she was older than Debrat. So they must have gotten married when she was in their 30s. How long have they been married? I think 2022, it said. Yep, yeah, since 2022. So Judy would have been 30. And Debrat would have been damn near 40? 48? Yeah, 48. Uh, it's it's the maturity level. Just the, Judy was thirty. Mm -hmm. It was the maturity, and and Judy had what three kids before she was thirty? Oh, no, Joey. <laughs> yep, three. <laughs> How old is her oldest? Seventeen. Mm -hmm. How old is her youngest? Um. So she was like 20. Oh, sorry. Hold up. Correction. This is all wrong. Okay. So it said that 
Judy had her first daughter when she was 15. Whew. Teen mom. So let's see if she is. Oh, baby, come question it. Go, baby, go, go. All right, 42 minus 15. We inquisitive. Now, this is a nosy Parker. And her I'm daughter scared. is 27. And she had her at 15. Yes. And and would that still make Judy 42? Um, what year was she had her hair? I'm sure that this is calculated. Oh, I mean, yeah. I just don't. This woman seems way older. She acted immature. Mm -hmm. Not immature, but she act young. Right. She act very young. Mm -hmm, she does. But her business sense and all that, it's it's amazing. I because she was the one that brought um she brought uh Brad the um with this Rolls Royce or whatever, brought her this expensive car. Okay. Probably Judy bought the house. I don't know. Judy 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 is a businesswoman. Yeah, they said that she's an entrepreneur. She's an entrepreneur. <laughs> and that is she is. That's <laughs> what she is. An entrepreneur. Okay. So does it equal out? Uh, well, I'm not sure how old Judy would have, um, the brat would have been at that time. But it's oh, okay. 15 plus, plus 8. Yeah, 15 plus 8. No, 15 plus 27. Or tw 27, that would make Judy 42. I was trying to figure out how old her daughter was. So I also subtracted okay, go ahead. 15 years from that. So at 15. Oh, they got it right. They did yeah. it right. Mm -hmm. So when Judy was. 15 and had her first child the brat was 23 excuse me you can leave it mm -hmm. oh okay yep yeah, the brat was 23 so that shows you how the brat was already in her 20s and before judy was even in her 20s she already had her first child actually before she was in her 20s she had already had her second child because she gave birth to her second child when she was 17 was she ever married that's a good question and are these so does she have children by different men? That's also another good question. Okay, we're digging in. Yes, we are. This is just you? let you know that we're just doing it on the cuff. That that's why I say a lot of times I don't even like to come on with all the head information. If we're gonna find it out, we're gonna find it out together. And I hope that you find this interesting. We do because why? Because they're getting a divorce. Mm -hmm. The word wasn't separation. The word was D, the D word, divorce. And I don't want them to divorce. Right. I like them. But when I'm looking back over it, I'm seeing the disconnect. Right. It's kind of starting to sound like multiple. That's what I'm trying it's to say. It's multiple reasons. But I know for one oh. thing, I saw a problem with the baby, though. A discrepancy that they did. I I talked about this in a video. Mm -hmm, How many did. videos did I do on them? Um, I think it was just one. I talked about it, you know, mm -hmm. but I saw a disconnect with them then. Okay, here we go. Okay, go ahead, baby. Come read it. As long as it's not a whole lot. So as baby come browsing through with her eyeballs, um. I'm really sad to hear that they are going through a breakup oh, and she's gone through those a lot. things. Oh, okay. No, it didn't tell me if they were by different men, but the article said that she had three children from her previous relationships. Okay. It sounded like multiple. So, you know. But Judy has gone through a lot. Said that when she had transferred to cosmetology school, this is after she had her um, first baby. Yes. Um, she got pregnant with twins, but sadly had a miscarriage. And then, um, she said that her mom put her out because she felt like she couldn't keep supporting her. So she'd been through all that. And so she, this is between the ages of 17 and 19. So you could, so she was messing with men at those times. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I know Brett used to mess around, but I don't know. Brett just never really seemed like that. I, I bet you if Brett slept with anybody, she probably could count them on one hand. Mm -hmm. You're right. I love you, Brett, but that may even be too many. Yeah, but because she was also and behind the on wall for a while. The mm -hmm. brat wasn't the brat, and yeah, yeah, yeah. How long was the brat locked up? I think she was locked up for a couple of years. What was it over? All right, let's see. The brat was locked up, and her sister 
You still going to see her. Mm -hmm. What it say? What it say? What it say? That. Um, okay. In court, the brat pleaded guilty at two aggravated assault charges. She was sentenced in August of 2008 to three years in prison, seven years of probation, and 200 hours of community service. So she did three years? Yes, three years. So I'm going to tell you. Ten years altogether. I'm going to tell probation. you what I feel about the brat right now. I know that the brat don't have a lot of time for nonsense. The brat done did a lot and then experienced a lot. And I just see the brat right now is wise, hard, mm -hmm. and it's just not going to take no foolishness. She's not taking BS from anybody. And I think she tried to stay in her lane. Yes, that definitely she does. She don't like a lot of mischief. Mm -hmm. And Judy, I'm sorry, Brad, I don't know why you didn't see it. Well, you was eight years younger, older. Well, you were eight years, years younger. younger. And Judy, Judy came with problems. And a lot of times when you, Judy came to her broken, mm -hmm. she broken. She's out of prison, adjusting, and Judy comes along. So you got two problematic people. They fell in love in a broken place. They fell in love in a broken place. They fell in love in a broken place. And yes. look at them. Mm -hmm. Look at them. You have her people, her people. And I, I feel sad because I hope that they could work it out for the son. Mm -hmm. It's so unfortunate. Yeah. I just really wish is. that these things that, you know, sometimes oh. I think people need to get down to the nitty gritty. Mm -hmm. We ain't breaking up. You, if I ever get married again, it's which good. I doubt, do a Will and Jada. If I do a Will and Jada, you do. We ain't getting a divorce. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to divorce you. We're going to live together, raise our son, raise our children. When they're 18, you can go. But you live there, I live here. We relax, we relate. Mm -hmm. We have family time. What do I mean? We have family time together, and you and I still have a date once a week. Why? So we can sit down at dinner and talk about our issues. Yes. You could be out there dating, and you have to be clean with me. I'm clean. You could be dating, doing whatever you want, but your date can't come in this house. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Your date can't call me on my phone. Mm -hmm. You have to be discreet because I don't want the children knowing about it. And there is a timeline for you to be in the house. Well, how late? Two o'clock. Two thirty. Why? Clubs close around one thirty. Give you an hour to get home. On the yeah. weekend, I would just have rules mm -hmm. that we both have to follow. You know, and rules. Who won't watch the baby? What? When I leave, I ain't got to tell you what I'm doing. But we know the curfew. Yeah. You just respect one another, and that way the children don't ever have to know the difference. Mm -hmm, that is true. We can sleep in the same room and in the same bed if need be. Oh, no, because that way we're still phone. working out our marriage. And maybe, you know, it may work. You doing you, I'm doing me. I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe sleep in different rooms. I don't know. I don't know. But I just feel as though that was just me interjecting my own way of doing it. And in my it's opinion, anything that you could do to save the relationship. I guess that's yeah, what I'm yeah, saying. For, for because the, the, the parent needs both. Mm -hmm. Not just one thing. And that's the one thing I could say as being raised by my mom who father left. I Whatever my mother said was it. I had nowhere else to go for an outlet. And I tell you, that's a horrible feeling when you and your mom don't agree and you and what she says is fine. That's I like but when I did get to know my dad, I had a way that I could go to him and share with him and he would give me his perspective. And I as growing up in a house without a dad, I know many of you that had it, mm -hmm. I haven't. It's a luxury. 
especially if you have a good dad. And maybe your dad don't do a lot of wonderful things, but he's there for you and he make you feel loved. And my dad made me feel loved. I, my dad made me feel loved. And even today, I know my dad loved me. Oh, and good. knowing that, I wish I had known it when I was younger. Mm -hmm. It would have saved me a lot of heartache because now I know what it's like to have love from a man, my father. And I think that children and men and, 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 and boys, yeah. they need to feel the love of two. And anything less than that is deficient. And if Judy is playing the masculine role, that would be the role, but the brat would play the, the masculine, masculine role. role. So that would be the role of their relationship, being brought up in the same house, uh, uh, same same sex marriage. You have you still have two parents, but one, I'm just saying, not sweet. And especially when they work, they're just not available. And especially when you have more siblings, it's not good. That's just my opinion. And I'm sure people out there that that didn't raise with a fam father. Not saying your mom or your dad didn't do a great job. It is a missing factor in the relationship. Mm -hmm. I hope I explained that right. Yes, you did. So anyway, it is tragic to hear this. I hope that they find their way back together. I yes, really do. Honestly. Baby Carl, do you have anything else? <laughs> um, well, nothing left about the Brett and Judy. So let's move it on. Yes, and the last person we had to talk about <sighs> Speaking of problems, we have Kanye in the news again. Um, apparently, well, first off, Kanye is releasing Oops. cultures too, just for his career out there. But yet again, we have somebody else coming out talking about how work environments are hostile, uncomfortable, became sexual, and um, and where they came from. Also, he finds these people offline. I am them. so. This is my opinion. I'm entitled. You may not agree, but please just listen. I am so sick and tired of these women mm -hmm. coming out of the war world. Yes. Coming out of the walls. Mm -hmm. Crawling like roaches. Yeah. To hit them up for money. Mm -hmm. They like roaches, rats. Yes. My thing is. Why now? Right. I, I, I'm just done with it. You didn't hear this one. I, 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 I'm done with all of this. And I'm sick of it. And I, I, I'm, I'm sick of these women. I can say it. Yeah. You want to play the, the role of a hoe. Mm -hmm. You want to play the role of a hoe. That's, that's what you want. Okay. But then when you get treated like a hoe, mm -hmm. you, you feel entitled. Yes. And that's the same thing with the diddy. Mm -hmm. You all, many of you, not all of you, you played the roles of hoes. Yes, y'all did. You did. And now... You want to be a respected hoe. Now you want to be respected. Right. Thank you, baby. Carl. Now, like I said, I can I, I could see if it was beating and all that involved. Mm -hmm. Absolutely unacceptable. Right. Or holding somebody against their will. Mm -hmm. Unacceptable. Yes. But these women, you gave up your, what was it, Instagram, whatever it was. Only fan. Only fan, where were you showing them parts? Mm -hmm. You gave that up. I heard she was making a million dollars a year. Yeah. You gave that up because Kanye told you to give it up. And, you and like the engine, you gave it up. Mm -hmm. That's what that let me know he was in it for the money. Yes. He was. Because it ain't no way that I'm going to give up my livelihood to work for you when you're putting me in the same industry that I'm doing on OnlyFans. OnlyFans. So it didn't work out. Now you want to sit. Yes. I'm telling you, if Kanye is coming up and saying, I'm not doing it, in my opinion, he got stuff to back him up to. Mm -hmm. This is foolishness. I it think is. it ties the court up with this. It honestly old, does. Old stuff. Stuff happened 
three years ago, two years, it's just old. And now that everybody is coming out, it's old. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I am sorry. If they ain't have no abuse, yeah. and you were there, you participated. Yes. He told me. Mm -hmm. What? And you still worked with him when he didn't get And it was a million. sexual job. Mm -hmm. I, I can't with it anymore. So in my opinion, I hope she don't win. Sure. I'm saying it don't hate me. Why? I told you. I think that they're using this to take men down with money. Yeah, it's just her. not right. What's so hostile about these work conditions? What, did he beat her? Did he tie her? Did he abuse her? Did he abuse her? Did he didn't? Did he didn't beat her? Or is this all about money? Money. You was throwing a million going back to where you come from. Exactly. Call back under that rock. I just hope that they just stop this so people can stop with coming out with the BS. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's real. I'm not saying it's false. I'm just saying now they, everybody is suing. The hoes are suing. Yes, the hoes. The hoes are suing. Mm -hmm. The hoes said, I want to be respected. I'm a hoe, but I want to be respected, hoe. <laughs> yes. I don't know what to say about it. I don't either. I don't. I'm sick of it. And and if Kanye is wrong, he's wrong. But to me, if you ain't put no pause on her, you ain't heard her, how you wrong? Right. If you don't have my name signing on a dotted line saying, I'm going to pay you $2 million. If you don't have that in stone writing, those lawyers going to make money. Yeah. Unless they take on that case and say, if I don't get paid, you don't get paid. But with cases like this, she probably got some money paying of a course. lawyer with millions. He going to ask for a retainer. He going to ask for something. Mm -hmm. And when you poll, they, they work with you. You don't get paid, I don't get paid. But then they treat your case like that too. Exactly. So you don't get much work done on your case. So we'll see how this pan out. But as for me, only because I'm so sick and tired of the hoes complaining, coming out from Hoville for a whole job. And then why don't you go on back to Hoville? I'm pretty sure that's where she went to pay for these fees. I, I just don't. And that, it's not even I'm taking up for Kanye. I, I'm just saying, you know the word on Kanye. You knew he wasn't. Mm -hmm. Come on. You knew Kanye. But you was up or come up. Yes. So I just don't have it to give. You know? You know what? Kanye certainly said it himself in a music video singing about gold diggers. That seems like what he's into. I just don't go gold, gold digger. He ain't nothing but a gold. No, that's not it. No. I want to say he ain't nothing but a half. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I can't think of it. Yeah, I really can't. Him and Jay Z, right? Is it Jay Z in it with him? Yep, gold digger. I I can't, and I'm and I'm sick of it. And it's like this is the season for the for the gold diggers. Come on out, hoes. Come mm -hmm. on out, gold diggers. Look at you. You still got the gold crawling crawling all in your fingernails. Just just come on and keep digging. Right. Digging for that almighty dollar. Mm -hmm. No, nope, it was Jamie Foxx in there. Oh, Jamie Foxx, right? What is the song? Gold digger. Hi, go. Um. I can't think of it. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'll play some. I, I would have to meet our audio for, for a second. You go. I believe. Mm -hmm. I go. Yeah, yeah, she's a trifling friend indeed. She's a gold pick. Okay. Money. Man, I believe. Turn it off. Yeah. Baby money, in the bank. Oh, they did it. I can't even remember the words. I can't even uh -huh. remember. Yeah. But that's gold digger. Mm -hmm. And that's what I see. And I'm just sick of it. These little hoes, they just coming out. Men too. Yeah. Oh, men, yeah. Men, men hoes. Yep. Men hoes, women hoes. Mm -hmm. They coming for the dollar. And it's absolutely sickening. It is. That's my opinion. That, that's so in this case, if she was done, ill will. 
Yes, I could understand. Then I get it. But if you just coming and it's like, hey, baby. You must have paid you something because you, you paid you something you stayed. And I don't want to hear it. And I don't think that we need to keep our courts filled with this rubbish. Honestly. It's rubbishness. And that's how I feel about it. Mm -hmm. Now, that's all we have to say. We're going to talk 40 minutes. I hope you enjoyed it. This is just, what is this called? Uh -huh. What is going on this with this? This is what's going on with this. Foolery. Yes. So, anybody else will be good. Uh, we are great. That's it. That's mm -hmm. all we got. We try to talk and then stretch it out and yeah. just give you our opinions. Yeah, we really deep dived on Brat and Judy on that one. I did. I did. That's a tragedy for me. For real. Prayers going off for them. Yes. I hope they find their peace. And I hope it's not too late for them. I really do. I really, really do. But as I said, troubled people find troubled people. And they trouble mine. And it, it doesn't last. So if you're thinking about getting into a relationship, make sure you heal. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you complete yourself. Yes. And anybody else that come along, they are a part of your happiness. Yes. Don't look for anyone to make you happy or to complete you. Mm -hmm. Complete yourself and share your life with a significant other. And most of all, be able to take care of yourself. Don't depend on a man or a woman to take care of you. Those days are fleeting. Unless you got millions, that's not the world we live in. No. Everybody got to come with their own bag. For real. We don't live in that no more where people can take care of you. You're going to have to come. You're going to have to come build up baby dolls and baby boys. You got to come build. What do you think? Yeah, most definitely. So good luck to you with this millennium. What is it? Um, Janafa. Huh? What? What? For millennial. Me? Who's who's running right now? Yes. The millennial. Okay, the millennials. Who is running? Yeah, what is the name? Gen Z? Oh. Yeah, yeah, Gen Z. Yeah. What are you? I'm a Gen Z. So you're running. And who is the next one? G Gen Alpha. These two generations? Peace. Because you're going to need it. They are far, far away. They are a century away. They don't know nothing about the 19th century other than what we have told them. Mm -hmm. So they're not a part. And if they were, they were born at the tail end, like 97, yeah. 98. Now they didn't know nothing. Mm -hmm. It ain't like they were five years old. They were babies. They were born literally when the technology was coming. When the technology was starting to come. So this generation that's born in the 21st century, mm -hmm. they're different than the 19th century or the 20th century. Yeah, the 20th they're century. They're different. They're not like us. You know? You know what it's like to use a pager? No, I do not. Do you know what a pager is? No. I rest my case. What about a rotary? You know what a rotary is? Is that like the little sub phones where you do that? That's a rotary. I, I like those. Like oh, yes. only because it's old. But if you have yes, to it use it. it was in my grandmother's house. It, 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 it's definitely, you have to ring it, but you have to wait till it goes. It's fun. It's not like, and then they have to press talk where you go. Boop, 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 boop. I love the press talk. Because uh, you just think you have to wait. You ring it, you turn it around, you make it all the way down to the click. Then you have to wait till it go back. Uh, then you got, that's how it was. I enjoyed that. It was just cool. That's why she <laughs> loved it. So anyway, enough of that. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Oh, there I go again. <laughs> we hope that you enjoyed this. This is yes. just what's going on. This mm -hmm. is what it is. And this is what's making news. I wish everyone peace. Yes. And the people who we talked about, peace Kanye, um, and the Brad and Judy, mm -hmm. Asian, and even Twitch wife, I don't know whatever. her name. I wish them all peace. Mm -hmm. And I wish you peace too. Yes. Have a lovely weekend. Mm -hmm. And with that being, oh, don't forget. Thumb us up. Thumb us up. Yes. Leave a comment. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We need it. We mm -hmm. do. Thank you. And we have to send sunflowers. sunflowers.